Today we're going to take a look at uh, calculating circumference. It's another uh, challenging technique that we did this year, uh, and it's one that you'll absolutely need to know in high school. So before we start, uh, if we remember the circumference is the distance all the way around the edge of a circle, uh, then there's four other things we should uh, remember for grade 8. The diameter is the distance across the middle all the way. The radius is from the middle to the outside. It doesn't matter where on the circle. Uh, and you probably remember the radius is half of the diameter. Uh, a chord is a line that uh, that touches a circle in two places. So it's basically a line from one edge of a circle to another. Uh, so the diameter is actually a chord, but it's a special kind. Uh, but other chords, and you will have to calculate these in high school uh, with formulas. Um, so a, a chord is, um, is just a line on a circle, and an arc is the distance from one uh, one point of the chord to the other. All right, so uh, circumference. We have two formulas, uh, pi times diameter, or two pi r, two times pi times radius. Okay, so it's important just to always write down your formula. Okay, so here is an example. Uh, I've got a circle, I've got a a diameter of 10 centimeters. So which of my two formulas am I going to use? I can use diameter, pi times d. So uh, 3.14, that, that's the value of pi, uh, or I hit the pi button on my calculator, uh, times it by 10, and I get 31.4 centimeters. So if the distance across the middle is 10, the distance around the outside of my circle is going to be 31.4 centimeters. If you struggle with diameter, just always work with your radius. And if you realize that diameter is, is double my radius, if I'm more comfortable working with radius, all I take for my diameter, I would chop that in half, and my 10 would then become 5. Uh, but radius is more important to work with because that's when we do area, that's the only way to calculate it. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, so I've got another circle. My radius is 3.5, so I have to use 2 pi r. Okay, so 2 times 3.14, which is pi, times my radius gives me 21.98 centimeters. So it's very straightforward calculator style math. We just have to remember that it's a formula, so we don't actually see multiplication but 2 times pi times r. If you don't see the uh, the mathematical sign, like addition, subtraction, it means multiply. Okay, here is one for you to try. So uh, my radius is 14. Pause the video and see if you can calculate it. Okay, let's take it up. So the formula we would use is 2 times pi times r, 2 pi r. I always write my formula out. It really helps me. Uh, so 2 times 3.14 times 14 gives me 87.92 centimeters. The only other style of question you'll get is like a reverse calculation. All right, this will be easier now than it was in term one because we've done algebra. Okay, so figuring out that if my circumference is 200 and I don't know my radius, I know that I can actually plug my 200 in right here, like 200 equals 2 times pi times radius. So if we don't know our radius, but we do know these two, uh, it's very obvious. We divide by 2, we divide by our pi, and we're left with a number on one side and my radius on the other. Okay, so if you think about algebraically, it actually really helps. So I take my 200, I divide it by two, I divide it by pi, and I'm left with my radius. So my radius is 31.8 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna upload 
uh, a couple of questions for you to try and uh, good luck with it.